You can take it off now. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> Happy Christmas, my love. I know it's only Christmas Eve, but I'll consider this a down payment on your real present. This is all the present that I need. Do you mean it? Of course. You don't need to keep proving yourself to me. I just want our first proper Christmas together to be special. I've had to wait a long time for this. It's perfect. You're perfect. Now, let's see what you've got, Santa. <laughs> Leave it. No, no. Sorry. Eva. Leave it. What exactly did you see? A man. A face. Where? There. You sure? He was trying to get in, Daniel. He was turning the handle. The handle doesn't turn when it's locked. He was rattling it. I was about to go to bed and I heard something. So I came in. Well, why didn't you call the police? I did. I'm not a complete imbecile. They said they'd send someone round, but it would take a while because it was Christmas Eve. No one had been hurt and they had other priorities. OK, OK. I'll take a look. There's no one out there. Now? There's no trace of anyone having been out there, but that didn't stop you calling me on Christmas Eve. Oh, I'm sorry for disturbing you. How is the girl? Don't you call her that! You know, I thought you might be interested in your welfare. And that's your little trick, because I care, because you know I'll come. You're still my husband. In name only. And Alice's father. And have I ever ducked my responsibilities? When you thought you had meningitis, I was straight here. When the car was stolen, who picked you up? When you thought you were being burgled. Those were genuine emergencies. For God's sake, Eva! Haven't you done enough? We're not married anymore. I know you find that hard to accept, but that's the way it is. And nothing you do is going to change that. So just stop all this shit. You're unbelievable. I only called you because of Alice. The other day she said something. Why the hell didn't you say something? Why do you think? Would you ever leave me? Well, there you go, then. Anyway, she's probably mistaken. Perhaps it runs in the family. Look, I am sorry for shouting. It was just bad timing tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, too. It's just... I don't have... It's not easy for you, I know that. It's not easy for any of us. Perhaps 
we can just be a little nicer to each other. I'd like that. Alice, darling, we're coming. It's OK, sweetheart. I'm here. Alice, what happened? There was someone at the window. Describe what he looked like. Was he fair haired? Was he dark? Was he young? Was he old? Please try, sweetheart. Think. Tell us anything you can. I'm not being socked. There was someone in the garden. I know she's played games before, but the... Oh, what? She's a fantasist. A fantasist that's got you wrapped round her little finger. Please, try and see this from my point of view. Are you kidding? What do you think I've been doing for the last three years? I know. Do you? Do you know what it's like to wake up on Valentine's Day alone? To spend your birthday alone? Can you even remember that, Daniel? You've been amazing. More than amazing. So, come home. It's Christmas. I want you here. Now, I've said I'm going to stay here tonight for Alice's sake, just to make sure. Uh, for fuck's sake! Helena! Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I'll be off now, sir. I didn't realise we still had any of your stuff. I didn't pour it all down the drain. Thank you for staying. I'd have gone out of my mind on my own. I should sell this place. It's not right the two of us living here alone. But you like it here. You've always liked it here. I did. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I don't want to guilt trip you or cause you any trouble. That isn't what this is about. Are you in trouble with Helena, I mean? If you want me to call and explain... Believe me, that's the last thing that I want you to do. How many Christmas Eves have we spent in front of this thing? Well, it cost us enough. Wanted to get our money's worth. We did, didn't we? Do you know how many times I've picked up the telephone to the estate agent over a thousand times? I keep thinking that it would be nice for me and Alice to make a fresh start somewhere else. But I never follow through with it. Because I'm still hoping, Daniel. I'm still hoping there's a chance for us. I know I wasn't blameless in what happened. Well, that's big of you. Look, don't shout at me. I'm trying to be nice. Have you forgotten how you followed me to work? Caused scenes with my friends? Accused me of having affairs that were just in your head? Oh, Daniel... In front of my colleagues, in front of my parents. I've made mistakes. I've admitted... You destroyed I... our marriage. You, not me. With your possessiveness and your paranoia. So you didn't have an affair with Helena? 
I fell in love with somebody else. It's totally different. Oh, keep telling yourself that, Daniel. Go to hell! All I ever did was love you. I gave you Alice. I gave you me. You love me too much. You can never love someone too much. I never <laughs> wanted to break up our family, but you drove me away. You drove me to someone else. We gave it a good go, but you and I were just not a good fit. My future is with Helena now. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. <sighs> and that's the way it is. Go to bed. You look bushed. Christmas. That is going now. Alice. Have you checked the house? I've checked every room twice. Stay there. Alice! Please, baby, where are you? Alice! Alice! God. Alice! Baby! Oh. Jesus Christ, Eva, I told you to stay in the house. I know, that wasn't part of the plan. What plan? Oh! Stabbed. You've got to come. There was a prowler here. He confronted him. He took the knife from him. He stabbed him for God's sakes. What's your address? 20. Roland Way. Please come quickly. Madam, someone will be with you as soon as possible. I think he's dying. <laughs> Sweetheart. 